What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Tonight we have an exciting unboxing for you guys. And I think this knife has been long awaited by many, many people. So let's get into this guy and see what we have here. We'll go ahead and open her up. Don't have the whole package on the screen because there's really no point. We're going to just zoom right in here after we get this out. So we have a Migron here, guys. And Migron, this will be the first Migron of the year. Last year in 2023, I bought a ton of Migrons. Premium ones, affordable ones. And they just do a fantastic job all the way from $40 up to $200. They also have their sister company, AM8, and they just do a fabulous job all the way around. Let's get that a little bit more here. QC passed, like to see that. That means we know, or at least we think, they are checking these knives before they get sent out. So that is a good thing. So what we have, guys, is a nice little box and a nice little knife, little silica packet to make sure everything stays kosher. Then we also have another QC Pass sticker there. So that is good. That means these guys are checking their knives. So what we have is the beautiful, affordable Migron Kirex. This is, I actually said when the a premium version, the Kirex 2 came out, that I would love to see this in a more affordable version. And sure enough, it came out. Now the Kirex 2 has a front flipper where this one has the rear flipper. But what's awesome about this is they did a satin finished 14C 28N blade. You have a nice cutout. You still have that very useful sheep's foot style of blade here. Feels like it comes down nice and thin. You still have the jimping there on the spine of the knife. We are also centered up very well there. And then you also have the flipper tab. So you're going to get multi deploying options here and then the other awesome touch something i've been waiting for Migron to start doing is the satin finish and the micarta so they're coming out of the gate in 2024 just killing it already because if they're going to start offering satin finish blades and micarta on their affordable options Oh my God, it's going to be game over for a majority of companies because not only are you going to get a beautiful satin finished blade, different colored micarta, you're going to get a titanium clip too. And this is all going to be for around 50 or 60 bucks, guys. I don't know, there's very few companies who could even get close to touching the kind of materials the kind of build that you're getting here with that price tag, you're just not going to get it uh, from very many places. I think one of the only places that gets even relatively close is Kubi. Kubi is close. Uh, but to get a satin finished 14C 28N blade, micarta, a clean show side, just great fit and finish on this guy. A titanium clip. It's just a, a geared G10 backspacer. That's what it looks like anyway. Steel liners. Good access with a chamfer on that liner. Drop shut action right out of the box. Solid lockup. We'll test that. We'll test that. But uh, the cutout works good. Thumb flick, reverse flick, slow roll it out. You can do the old pinch and roll, push button, light switch. Yeah, this is going to be a major winner. If people thought the Moyero was good, 
and the Centurion, and they were. They are good. They're great. But they weren't doing satin finishes. They were giving PVD coatings. They were doing uh, sandblast finishes, which those finishes are, you know, a decent option to have. But now that they're doing a satin finish here, guys, you know, it ain't a hand rub satin, but it's a nice satin finish. Let's wipe it off and see, you know, what it looks like here. But uh, that is just going to be an absolute game changer. Look at that thing. Oh, that thing is, this is just game changing. And just in case you aren't familiar, they also did a premium version in the Curex as well. This is the Curex 2 uh, M390 on the blade steel. And then this is what I'm talking about. If this knife had this satin finish on it, oh my goodness, would it be good. I almost feel like switching this blade with this one. I don't know if it would work. It might, but uh, they are a little bit different. I wonder if I could switch them because that would look so much better on this model here with the satin hardware and then take the satin blade. Uh, but I'm glad that they are coming around and they are going to start doing satin. They're going to start doing micarta. I just think those are very nice touches. And don't get me wrong, I like G10 and, you know, not near as much as micarta, but uh, I like G10. It's for me, you know, and being a content creator and someone who, you know, judges knives and tells you what I think, I am really about the options. I like options. So I don't mind when companies do certain steels and I don't mind certain handle materials and all that sort of thing. But I would rather have a company do D2, you know, do D2 for 30, 40 bucks, do 14C for 50, 60 bucks, and then offer something premium, you know, M390, S90V, and keep it reasonable, 150 to, you know, 200. And Migron, they do that pretty much. Now, their bread and butter is 14C, but they just came out with a more, even more affordable line and they're going to be offering D2 at like 30 bucks. So they're really uh, doing all the right things there at Migron. And then you also, which I didn't even really take note, you do have, it's not a full finger choice. I, guess, I mean, I guess it is. Uh, I don't know how crazy you would want to go right there, but you can definitely choke up behind that edge there. And this thing is going to be a nice slicey machine here. This is going to do your precision, detailed type cuts very well. You'll be able to get right up above that tip, right up on it. So you'll be able to do a lot of precision work with this if you need something like that. And then you'll be able to get right up behind that edge as well for a lot of control. Uh, and then, you know, if you feel like fighting with this guy, it's going to be very comfortable in hand as well. It's got the same ergonomic lines as its titanium brother here, as far as the handle goes. It's going to be very comfortable in a multitude of different grips. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And we're going to test that lockout. And... We're going to continue doing it. Every new knife, every knife I own, we're going to check them. You know, and even if it's just a casual check, I just want to see if they're going to fail on a very light tap. It's very telling, uh, and this knife is not. I don't feel it moving at all. And then the other good thing is... You have solid lockup, but on top of that, you have this flipper tab here. So whether you're choked up similarly to this and or 
in the standard grip, you have that flipper tab as kind of a secondary measure to keep that blade from going into your hand, right? So I think Migron has already started the foot race of 2024 here uh, with a massive bang. I mean, perfectly centered, satin blade, micarta, titanium clip. They're doing a couple different micartas. Uh, I saw blue, black, and I think there's at least one other one, and there might even be G10 models. Uh, <laughs> this is just insane for the money. Solid lockup in there. Uh, didn't even check that. About 25 or 30%. Great access. So not only are you getting all the form things that people love, you know, multiple opening methods, good aesthetic, great action, but you're getting all the functional things that you need too. A good blade steel, something that's going to cut, a good blade shape, something that's ergonomic and comfortable, something that should be very easy to carry. We're gonna do a full in-depth overview of this guy. So stay tuned for that. If you are interested in checking one of these out, we'll do a full in-depth overview of this coming up very soon. But with all the material choices, uh, the ergonomic lines, the solid lockup with the good access to this guy, I mean, this is a clear, clear winner. Uh, and then the other thing I love about Migron is they keep their blades clean. Uh, no billboarding all over the place. They just have their subtle logo there on the pivot. If you're not looking for it, you're not even going to notice it's there. It's so clean, so good looking. Uh, and they've been doing that for a while. So, uh, mad respect to Megaron and AM8 for putting out some of the best budget knives in the entire game. Let me know what you think of this guy down below. I love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button before you head out. If you're new to the channel or you've been here before and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.